velvet. What is Artorius' method of fighting? He wields a long sword in his left hand. And he once had a Moloch named Ceres who used fire. Had, but I killed her. And since then, he's tethered a new Moloch called Enominat to use in her place? As far as I know, yes. But I can't imagine a new Moloch will work with him as well as Ceres did. Must be pleasant to always assume the best. If I'm wrong, that's where all of you come in. The four of you will strain his tether to the Moloch. Then I'll chew through it. At which point Artorius becomes nothing more than a simple human. But how will you get close to him in the first place? I'll use Lafayette's arts. He will cut me. He will burn me. And I will keep charging forward. Your job is to keep healing me, so that I can stay on my feet. A sacrificial assault, then. Oh, it's not a bad plan. There's a good chance you'll catch him off guard. If you don't immediately die. But... but... Velvet... you'll... That's an order. Uh, <gasps> All right. So in the end, you're still just a tool to her. Bet that hurts. say. Perhaps she's not thinking at all. No, she said something about him killing someone. She said it during his speech, right? I heard her too. She has some feud with Artorias. Her hate for him flows deep. I wonder what her connection to Lord Artorias is. Don't call him Lord. Trust me. What? You'll understand when the time comes. If she's still alive to face Artorias, that is. Precisely. The fires of her hatred are all-consuming. Who will they burn in the end? Hmm? <gasps> it's a dangerous path we walk, but a debt is a debt. Come along, Lafayette. Okay. Demons and Malachim. Unlikely companions, to say the least. Ceres is here too. In my stomach. So you chose to be a mother bird, Ceres. Things will be different this time. I will have my revenge. Revenge for Lapiset! Uh Very well. It is time. Whoa! So this is the shepherd's style. Boy, howdy, are we dead? But he has no mind. Remember the plan. Right. No escape. No escape. No escape. No escape. No escape. No the blaze of the wind, the light, 
Let your guard down, even when victorious. I will not let you win so easily. I will use my full strength, as is just and proper. Aid me, Innominat! His wounds have vanished! Such power. Is it really? That is cheating! Why do... I... remember you. That night. That terrible night. <laughs> more... more healing. <laughs> it's impossible! We have to run! You won't escape this time. I beg your pardon, Lord Artorius. I had assumed Master Shigure was attending you. The failure is mine. Oh. Shigure is out training. Besides, Batman would like to see my blood spilled more than anyone. Same as ever. Eh, he thinks only of himself. Look what happened with Ifrid. So you are Melchior. No, Artorius. The one who most wants to spill your blood. It's me! Master Artorius, allow me to quiet this demon. <sighs> Out of my way! Learn your place, you abominable demon! Why? Doesn't it hurt? Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Because... Luffy sent me so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. Sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Colluding with demons. Number two, your punishment must be severe. Kill the demon. Then, end your own life. No. Have you forgotten our pact? Your mistress is giving you an order. That 
Shora. I don't want both of you Sister! Bokuro, into the portal! Right. Hey! Don't forget me! You cannot escape! Inominat's power reacting with the Earth Pulse. Extraordinary. I begin to see. Still, giving your brother's name to a Moloch, you've strayed so far. Velvet? Wake up! Oh, just... let me sleep a little more, Celica. You rascal! Don't you remember the task I entrusted you with? The task? Yes. I asked you to take care of him. Oh. Where am I? Did they kill me? My wounds are gone. Fever. Uh... Please don't die, Velvet. You saved my life. Now it's my turn to save you. We've got to get out of here. Just hang in there, Luffy said. somewhere. Now, 
Where is this place anyway? Where's the exit? What the hell is this place? It's an Earth Pulse. So you survived. Let's not count our blessings just yet. It looks like we've been sealed inside. But at least we're still alive. Can't say the same would be true if we stayed in that place. An Earth Pulse. So that's what this is. Yeah. It's like a river flowing with nature's life energy. Earth pulses can be found all over the world, but normally you can't see or interact with them. Then how'd we wind up inside one? When Inominat and Lafisette's power collided, the shock must have torn it open. If that's the case, it's possible that Lafisette possesses the power to return us home, but... Uh... He can't do much in this state. He's liable to turn into a demon any moment now. Don't talk like that! Is this because he overused his powers? It's not too late to stop it. If a Moloch occupies a pure vessel, he can be prevented from transforming into a demon. Even you? This lucky coin is my vessel. There's a catch to this one, though. It can only serve as a vessel for someone with the Reaper's powers. Then that's no help at all. An exorcist would work. We offer our own bodies as vessels for Malachim, so that we can use them for the Abbey's purposes. I volunteer to serve as your Moloch's vessel. I see. So we just need your body with us, not your legs. Not one step closer! I'll kill myself before you lay a hand on me. The Moloch will become a demon, and you'll be stuck here forever! You don't mince words, do you? Know your foes and strike where they're weak. The basis of all combat. As cowardly as I'd expect from a disciple of Artorius. No, this is personal. Once I regain my exorcist powers, I vow to challenge you, Demon Velvet! If I lose, I'll do whatever you wish. If you want me to die or to become a vessel, so be it. <laughs> Uh, Velvet, don't die. Fine. What's the Moloch's name? Normally, it is decided by their masters. But since I do not own him yet, I need to know. He's not a thing to be owned. He's Lafisette. <laughs> Lafisette. I see. O oh, child of the fountain of creation, these vows we exchange, may our purpose, resplendent, help to purify this cursed world. Remember this true name I bestow unto you. Such... such power! How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? little brat. He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? 
what was that? Huh. Guess this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Bet you ten gold that I'm right. Ten gold? You're on. What in the... Luffy said, what did that exorcist do? What happened to you? I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Lafayette's vessel? Where did she head off to then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist disappeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides... His power is just what I need. Don't you forget our little wager now, alright? My darling Ted Gold, murdered in his crib by a thug! I won't let her get away from me! Take a look at this. Scout ship setting.